Robert here again for another Tovar guitar video lesson. Today we're going to do Drunk on Your Love by Brett Eldridge. Hope you guys enjoy it. Pretty easy. So there's only four chords to this song. The first chord is an E chord, standard E chord. Second chord is a B chord, uh, bar the second fret, and it's pretty much an A shape. You can see what I'm doing there. Third chord is a G sharp minor, bar on the fourth, just place it like that. And the last chord is an F sharp, which is pretty much uh, barring on the second fret all the way through, and you have the E shape going on. Okay, and this is the count. One, two, and three, four, one, Sometimes I play the B this way, just because I, I really don't like playing this shape for too long, because it's, it's it's pretty much this this gap between these two fingers is kind of hard for me. So I always just enjoy doing this, and it's pretty common that people will get the three notes with this finger, so don't let that throw you off. I don't get the high E when I do that though, so. There's a bridge section, and all that is is the same. Well, like with exception with the G sharp minor, you're still going to use E, B, and F sharp, except the count's going to be two whole measures on E, one measure on B, and one measure on F sharp. That goes like this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and it just starts over from there. If you want to use a capo, <clears throat> the best place to put it would probably be on the fourth fret. And what you do then is uh, the first chord would have to be a C chord. The second chord would have to be a G. I don't have a capo with me, but these would be the shapes. G, so it would be C, G, E minor. If you had the capo, of course. And then a D. That would be it. So. Capo fourth would be C, G, E minor, D. Same time as I would do before, just substitute the C for the E, the G for the B, the E minor for the, the, um, the uh, I'm sorry, the uh, G sharp minor, and the D would replace the F sharp. Okay? And that's pretty much it. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel because that pretty much is what keeps me going and keeps me motivated to keep putting videos up. Also send requests because I haven't gotten any requests in a while um, and uh, I would like to hear from you guys. So talk until next time.